How we doing YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin, the Katie Hill Farmer, and today we have an exciting farm vlog for you. And I'm kind of happy this happened because I think it hopefully it benefits you guys and more than it does me is what I'm hoping. And I like to get back to you guys because you guys are what makes the channel happen. But anyhow, I got contacted by Super Clean. They sent us some, well, sent us a couple bottles to try out here, guys. Here it is. You got a foaming and just a liquid agent. And what we're going to do is no water added. We're going to put this thing to the test on top of this fuel cell where the gunk has just built up on it over the years. They also gave us a nice little shirt to go with it and this hat, of course. But what I found interesting was, and I, I've never, believe it or not, I've never tried super clean. Uh, I've always, uh, I think Blue Wolf's what I always used and I learned real quick, you don't let that sit on paint too long because it will fade it and this will too. So you always gotta be caution. They do send you this nice little guide that tells you all, if you need to, you can pause the video there, but it tells you everything, what you need to learn about diluting and all that stuff. And guys, from what I'm saying, or what I'm seeing here is, I mean, they have all kinds of stuff, for absorbent, all kinds of stuff. And I'm glad they contacted us, but uh, today we're gonna put it to the test. I did try test area and it, it done very well. Like I said, we're not adding no water because right now it's just so cold out. I don't wanna free stuff up. So we're pretty much just spraying it on here. And like I said, did try a couple of test spots and there's a couple spots on this tank that are heavily soiled. I bought this tank used and uh, I've tried to clean it before, but you know how that goes. But anyhow, follow us along, along on the farm blog today. We're gonna try the super clean. We're gonna try this degreasing agent and see how it works and how it goes. Before we get in the video guys, if you like what you see on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel and uh, you've checked out a couple videos or a couple playlists and like what you see, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, catch the live stream and check out the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Katie Hill Farmer. So let's go ahead, we'll get into it. We'll get the camera set up and get into this, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you a close up of what this looks like. You can see there's a little bit of diesel fuel there. But this right here, it's hard, very hard, very hard to get off there. You can take it with a rag, nothing. Uh, this same way, you get a little bit of it up, but that's scrubbing pretty hard. And it's taking it up, but it's still leaving a dull finish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the super clean here. I'm gonna try the foaming one first. I'm gonna give it a shake. We're going to spray this thing on here. You can put some on the cap. There you go. Uh, I should have read the directions, but I don't believe you have to let it set very long. But, uh, cover, yeah, allow time to dissolve. We'll let that, we'll, uh, let that dissolve. We'll let you, the camera stay on there. I'll kind of talk a little bit about it here while it's dissolving. But anyhow, guys, uh, in full strength, they say you can use it for a drain opener, floor rack, floor racks remover, uh, garbage disposals, ovens, scuff marks on the shop floors. Like I said, it even gives you uh, three parts per water, one part super clean for, you know, fireplaces, stove hood, exhaust, all so on, so on. But I, I like to try this absorbent. It looks pretty, looks pretty tough. I mean, according to the ad on here. And guys, go check them out. I'll leave a link below. Like I said, I'm not getting paid for this. They just sent this to me. Uh, I hope we can work out a deal for you guys. But as you guys can see though, this is pretty well dissolved. So I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer and we're gonna try to okay, rub it guys, off. Guys, I think that's pretty well dissolved enough. 
Let's go ahead. I can see some of the dirt has come up. Just look at some of that dirt that's come up already. You probably should use rubber gloves with this, guys. I don't have them on right now. That's what I was anxious to see, though, that real soil spot right there. I'm anxious. I can't believe it took that off. But, man, it's done. It took more off than what I thought it would, to be honest with you, with the test spots I've tried. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and spray this again. Let's see if we can get all that up. Do another layer on the heavier build up. I doubt it's going to take where a magnet used to be on this up. We'll let that dissolve and we'll try it again. Uh, you can see though, this is where we started. And this is what it looked like. Like I said, it, it just don't come off with anything. We'll let that dissolve. But guys, that stuff, I mean, look at that rag. That is deep, deep soiled stuff. Okay, right. guys, this kind of dissolved again. You got a pretty new rag. Got some rubber gloves on. Kind of scrubbing it a little bit harder this time. As you can see, I'm going through that. And with this, some of the super clean, let's try some of the spray on that right there. I'll turn the camera over just a little bit. We'll just spray some of this. Boy, it took it right off of just spraying it. There you go. Uh, I want to tell you, I like it. Spray some of this, see if it's a little bit stronger maybe. I don't think it is. I believe it's the same stuff. We're kind of spraying it over towards the fuel cap. We're turning you guys over that way. And go ahead and take the rag here. And I know I'll put, I'll dump some water on this so it quits eating at it. So don't worry about that. But again, done a really good job in my opinion. So yeah. I like it. We'll try it out on some more stuff. But yeah, guys, I'll tell you what. We tried both of them there and worked out very good on top of this. It's white again. Uh, I would, I can't say it's the best. Like I said, I've only used Blue Wolf, but I can say it done a good job. I will say I had this tank cleaned up at one time, and I forget what I used on it, but... As you can see, it didn't get it as clean as what this did. And I'm wanting to say I used Dark Fury on it, which is a automotive kind of low acid. But uh, I, I like the foam in this. I do like the foam. Uh, but I can say I would get it. I would buy it. And I think it, sp it spoke for itself right there, all the garbage. I mean, it brought off of that tank. And that, it, that tank's been years. Like I said, it's, it's set out in a shed and has collected all kind of stuff. And I believe, uh, where did it come from before that? I mean, I knew where the guy got it at and I can't remember now. But <laughs> really like the super clean stuff. Uh, if super clean, if you're watching, thank you for the hat and shirt. And uh, guys, go check them out. I think you'll not regret it and like I said they have a nice little chart here it tells you how to dilute everything it makes it pretty simple they also have the floor absorbent and you guys can check out their they got social media Facebook and they got a YouTube channel also and an Instagram so go check them out you guys tell me what you think below in the comments of what you think about super clean we'll be trying this stuff out on a couple more videos until we run out of it and just see how well it works I know my neighbor, he loves it for his side-by-side. -side. 
when he goes out and gets it all muddy, he said he can come back and use Super Clean and spray it all over that machine and it looks brand new. Uh, don't know, not tried it. I can tell you it worked good here, but we'll have to try other, uh, like the side by side, maybe the John Deere, which I know you can't leave it on paint that long. You got, you got to worry about it fading the paint out, but you know, common sense comes a long way. So, but anyhow, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll. Talk